In the last video, we learned that the absolute value of a number represents the distance of that number from zero. For example, the absolute value of negative 3 is equal to 3 because negative 3 is 1, 2, 3 units away from zero. And of course, our unit measure is the distance from zero to one. Okay, so this implied that absolute value of any number is always either greater than or equal to zero. Because it represents the distance and the distance is always positive. Now, I have another question in mind. What if I do not want to start measuring the distance from zero? I want to find the distance between some two random points on the number line. For example, what is the distance between 99 and 57? What is the distance between negative 37 and 57? How do I figure out these distances? Well, I could always go back to my number line, make a huge number line, and of course, since I know that my unit distance is this, I can figure out how many unit distances I go from negative 37 to 57 and that would be the distance between these two numbers right but imagine now going to even bigger numbers and your calculations becoming a little more complicated so I want to find a general rule that will kind of save me the trouble of figuring out or counting the units on the number line. So, to get to that, let's begin with small numbers. Let's figure out the rule with, let's say, let's say I want to find the distance between the number 3 and the number 7. Okay? The distance between 3 and 7, I can count the units. It's 1, 2, 3 units, and 4 units. So this distance is 4 units. Okay. What about the distance between, let's say, negative 3 and 2? Let's count. It's 1 unit. 2 units, 3 units, 4 units, and 5 units. So this distance is 5 units. Okay. How about the distance between negative 3 and 5? Which will be 3 units up to here and 5 units up to here makes 8 units. I see a pattern. I notice that the distance between any two points on the number line is equal to the difference between the two numbers because here this was equal this was 7 minus 3 and here this was 2 minus minus 3. Right? And you should test this with a few other numbers on both sides of the number line. Just pick random numbers. Now let's put this into words. The distance between any two points on the number line is equal to the absolute value of the difference between the two numbers. And I go back to this. Well, why would I want to take the absolute value? I notice that to find the distance from 3 to 7 to random points on the number line. I did 7 minus 3 and I got a 4. Wait, when I say the did take the difference of the two numbers, what if I had done 3 minus 7? Remember, 3 minus 7 
would have given me negative 4 and the distance between 3 and 7 is equal to 4 so we take the absolute value of negative 4 which is equal to 4 the same way here I could have done negative 3 minus 2 and this equals negative 5 and since I know the distance I counted it is 5 unit and that is the absolute value of negative 5 so this makes sense now let me put this down as a general rule with some variables I'm gonna say let a and b be two real numbers and these are any two numbers on the number line then the distance between a and b which are two numbers on the real number line is equal to the absolute value of the difference of these two numbers let's look at a few examples let's say I want to find the distance between uh, the number 5 and 17 on the number line and I know this distance is equal to the absolute value of the difference of these two numbers which is absolute value of 5 minus 17 which is equal to the absolute value of 5 minus 17 is negative 12 so this is equal to 12 units now I notice that if I had taken the absolute value of 17 minus 5 instead this would have given me absolute value of 12 which is equal to 12 as well okay so this tells me that to find the distance between any two numbers on the number line I take the absolute value of their difference and it does not really matter which number I subtract from which as long as I subtract them and take their absolute value let's look at another example let's say I want to find the distance between negative 7 and 3 then this distance is equal to the absolute value of the difference of these two numbers which is equal to absolute value of negative 10 which is equal to 10 okay so on the number line I have negative 7 somewhere here and I have 3 over here somewhere again since absolute value represents the distance the distance between this number and this number is equal to 10 and we know it here in the units of 1 this is 7 units and this is 3 units and in total we have 10 units